it's always the most heartbreaking thing to have shot a great shot and you realize afterwards that you had your white balance set incorrectly. And it's a very common problem. And of course, there are ways to fix it in color correction, but it's usually not very simple. And I always thought, wouldn't it be great to just have a plug-in that would basically allow you to put color correction filters on your footage after the fact, just the way you would if you had a chance to put that color correction filter on your camera. So uh, I came up with the white balance plugin, and uh, this footage here, I'm just going to uh, apply the plugin. This footage was obviously shot with the wrong white balance. It was a nice sunny day. We had this beautiful warm sun coming through the trees, but uh, I had it on tungsten white balance, so of course it's very blue. So what I'm going to do is use a preset, and in Final Cut Pro 10, we see that presets are down here at the bottom of the screen. In the other hosts, like uh, Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro 7, you'll see the preset uh, right up uh, with the effect controls near the parameter controls. But let's just have a quick look at what presets actually ship with the plugin. In our case, we want to shift daylight to tungsten balance, um, but we can also shift incandescent, which is only a 2800K. Um, we also have minus green, so if you were shooting with fluorescent light sources and uh, it looks a little green, you can correct for that. If you want to really warm it up for sunset, you can do that. And then, of course, we have all of your typical rat and filters that uh, photographers and cinematographers have been using for years. And uh, so in this case, if I was shooting with uh, a tungsten white balance in daylight, I would normally just throw a, a Rattan 85 filter on. And let's just try that right now. Put the 85 filter on. There we go. We have uh, perfect looking footage. Nice warm sun. This is exactly the way it would have looked if I had actually shot on the correct white balance. Um, one of the other presets that I could have used would have been Daylight to Tungsten, which basically is the 85 filter. Uh, let's have a look at what's actually going on here. Up in the controls, we see that we have a base color temperature. So uh, in this case, what's happening is I'm telling the plugin that my base color temperature was daylight. So we're, I'm putting in 5500 Kelvin. And uh, I want to shift that um, 2300 Kelvin, which of course puts us down into 3200 Kelvin. So 5500 minus 2300 gives us 3200, which is tungsten. And, uh, and that's basically how it works. So this temperature shift is the main slider that you would use. Um, so if I want to make this even warmer, then I would move it to the left even more. And I'm just shifting down uh, the amount of, of Kelvin uh, in degrees. Uh, if I wanted to adjust the green and magenta, then I would use the hue adjust, which if I increase it, I'm increasing the green. And if I decrease it, I'm increasing the magenta, which would compensate for a green tint from fluorescent lighting. So that's the white balance filter. It's very simple. It's very easy to use for, uh, you know, anyone who's ever done photography and, and used filters. And, um, you know, if you come up with your own presets, we would very much welcome you to send them to us. Just send them to support at dashwood3d.com, and maybe we'll include them in a future version of the plugin.